If you're in the market for your first airsoft gun, this is probably the video for you. I've got two suggestions, two airsoft rifles that I personally have used and I use as a loner when I go to the field in case someone's gun breaks or we just come across that new shooter. Just it's nice to have a couple backups. One of these I use as my backup like religiously and the other one is a loner that we use, but I'm gonna show you what those two are right now. First up is the CFR. This one is from Elite Force. The cool thing about this gun is you can get it on Amazon, shipped right to your door with prime shipping for under $200, which makes this a very, very attractive starter gun. We've got it kitted out with uh, just some Amazon knickknacks, you know, tactical stuff that we've gotten over the years. This is our loner gun. This is the one that when someone comes out and they want to try airsoft for the first time and, and hang out with us, this is the gun that we generally give them and let them run. It's just a really robust rifle. It's reliable. It's just kind of one of those guns that you, you give it to someone and they're going to go out and they're just going to have a good time with it. And actually when I was playing with this thing, it is a competitive rifle for under $200. Like hands down, I did not have a problem keeping up with anyone out there. So that is, that is awesome. So one thing to note, this gun is polymer, so your lower receiver is going to be polymer. Your handguard is aluminum, so it does have that real steel feeling up in front. But, um, and honestly, even, even your grip here feels half decent. But just remember that your, your receiver is going to be, it's going to be plastic. So, but that also cuts down on the weight. So if you've got a younger shooter or, like I said, a newer shooter, you're not going to get that fatigue from this. You start putting accessories on it, lights, lasers, all that kind of stuff. You're going to start getting a little bit heavy. And actually, this gun is kind of front heavy. Even with a full high cap magazine, it still stays a little front heavy. So just keep that in mind. Next up, this gun is from Specna Arms. This is the F03 here. This is an awesome choice for a beginner. One of my absolute favorites. This is my backup gun. I take this out on the field as a back, not out on the field, but with me to the field as my backup. It is just a great, reliable gun. It's accurate and it does not have a problem keeping up with the other guns out on the field that are definitely out of its league in terms of price. The receiver, just like the other one I showed you, is also a polymer, but I mean, the look on this thing is just so good. They did such a great job making it look like it is a forged uh, aluminum lower. Like it really does have this really nice look. They did a great job with the, uh, the coloring, the fit, the finish. Specna Arms has done a great job with this gun. One thing I really like is the SOP Mod style stock back here. Gives you a lot of room for batteries so you're not limited to battery choices, which also makes it great for beginners. I know there's so many things out there to be looking at. You're hearing all this stuff from other content creators about what to buy and use this battery, use that, use this. It's like, get something that will accept a lot as you go and you learn. I'm doing another video on like, the stuff I wish I would have known when I started, because let me tell you what, there's a ton, there's a ton out there. But anyways, back to the Specna arms. This gun does come stocked with irons. You're not gonna get any optics, any lasers, but obviously you can see you've got real estate for all of that kind of stuff. Up here in the front, we also have uh, M-Lock, so you can put on any accessories. I love this front rail. I love the length of this gun. It makes it really competitive for running like indoors or even in the city at ambush. This is just a great rifle for the city. I actually kind of purpose built this for my nighttime operations city gun. It was kind of like my thought process behind this, and it fills that role very well. I think Specna Arms definitely has a winner with this one. If I had to pick one gun for a, a new a new airsoft, it would probably be the Specna Arms Flex line. They have a whole line. They've got different configurations uh, for really affordable prices. If you're new to airsoft, drop me a comment down in the comment section regarding the guns that you are looking at and kind of what you have in mind. And let me know if you do go with one of these guns. I would love to know and hear how it all turns out. So yeah, definitely stay in touch. Subscribe to the channel. That really, uh, that really helps. And hit the notification bell to get notifications because YouTube has been doing a terrible job of notifying my subscribers when I upload. Uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see you on the field sometime when I get a little bit better. I'm completely out with this left hand, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'll be back. I will be back if I have to shoot one-handed. I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, guys, catch you on the next one.